Hello everyone. I hope all are good. Today we are going to talk about How Beastly Brushes, which is written by D. H. Lawrence. D. H. Lawrence. He was born in eighteen eighty five. His full name is David Herbert Lawrence, and he was one of the famous novelist, poet, play writer, and also a essayist. Some of his most notable works are Sons and Lovers, The Rainbow, Woman in Love, Lady Chatterley Lover. And he was affected by tuberculosis, and he was died in nineteen thirteen. In this poem, the writer tells about the bourgeois, bourgeois which means the high class peoples of the society. So the writer tells about bourgeois in this poem, and he was compared the bourgeois into a beast as well as men. And in this poem the writer written in complete free verse and there is no rhyme or no rhythm and there is present some other poetic devices also they are simile hyperbole imagery and also an alliteration next we will discuss about this poem how beastly the bourgeois the speaker start the poem by commenting on how beastly bourgeois are he focuses on especially the male species they look presentable but it's only on the outside their healthy and handsome appearance is in contradiction with their inner self which one means a new challenge instantly goes so gay unable to cope up with it he becomes a mess a fool or bully the bushes are like a mushroom standing erect and sleek but all the while feeding off others his tail inside all wormy and hollow the speaker ends the poem by saying it's a pity that all the bushes can be kicked over back into the soil of england next we will go through the analysis of the poem the speaker of the poem starts right of the bat by calling the bushes beastly he does not mean his words at all and goes right to the point he especially points out to the males he says they are presentable he repeats this for emphasis and then he says shall i make you a present of him this right here is a play on the word present when he asks the question the speaker means to say that shall i list out his features and characteristics for you he speaks of the bourgeois outer appearance he asks if he is in handsome healthy and a fine spaceman on the outside does not the outer appearance resembles that of a fresh clean englishman he further emphasizes these qualities by asking if the bourgeois is in quotes on image this here is a hyperbole same as the whole poem he says that the male chants 30 males a day and asks if we wouldn't like to be like him this whole paragraph is complete and pure sarcasm it is a prelude to the main message of the poem and because the speaker raises the bourgeois to such a high level in this paragraph the following paragraph make that much or more an impact on the reader and the speaker says we can tell by this one sentence accompanied by the knowledge of the title of the poem that the speaker was going to contradict whatever he said in the previous paragraph he says that when the same handsome healthy bourgeois meet with their new emotions when he meets with another man's need with their moral difficulty or with their demand of new understanding the male bourgeois cause also gi just like a wet meringue meringue is a type of sweet food and it cause all mushy when it's wet the speaker says that just like that the male bourgeois too become a mess unable to cope up with he become a fool or he is of a rather unpleasant type of bully he makes a cute a display when he becomes like this in this paragraph the speaker speaks of a weak minded personality of the bourgeois the speaker again repeat the first paragraph for the emphasis the speaker comparing to the male to a mushroom mushroom is a fungus which stands erect and sleek but for it to so it consumes nutrients out of dead leaves shed from a tree bigger than it the speaker says that the bourgeois do the same sucking up to the rich or taking from the weak but even by doing this 
they are not fresh they are still inside remaining they're too long and hence are going inside just like how the mushroom still stands upright even when all of its inside are eaten away by worms this is to say that while male bushes are healthy and good looking on the outside inside they are just hollow and plain nasty they are full of seething feelings the speaker says this male bushes are in the thousands all over the dam england and that it is a pity that they can't be kicked over like skinning toadstools now toadstools are the spore bearing fruiting body of a fungus which are in inedible or poisonous this comment with the sickening adjective is enough to show what exactly the speaker thinks of the bourgeois dam is used in a relationship to england here because toadstools grow more in that region in short the speaker says that it is a pity that the poisonous cannot be killed off the speaker is pretty brutal in those opinions considering the speaker is the poet himself these opinions can be found to stem from his family experiences lawrence had unpleasant experiences as a child in relation to the middle class in the form of his parents fights and many more and this can be seen as a cause for his deep embedded negativity towards this class whatever the reason lawrence succeeded in writing another controversial piece of in the conclusion of this poem dh lawrence draws a brutal picture of the bourgeois of his times and their superficiality and inner characteristics and shows his deep contempt and disgust towards them and stands up to his tag as a controversial poet this is the short summary of this poem i hope all are understood